Hey all, I'm going to walk you through a resource called Wakelet. So if you've played with Padlet as a spot to do collaboration and collect um, information from students or from teachers, or if you've used Pinterest to share ideas and pictures, Wakelet is kind of the culmination or the combination of those different pieces. So it is a digital collaborative board that allows you to share all kinds of different things uh, in a interactive way. So you can add pictures, you can add videos, you can add uh, web links, resources, anything you want to a Wakelet board, and then be able to share that out and collaborate with that tool. So I went to learn.wakelet.com and they actually have a remote learning guide that you can download and that will walk you through some of the tools that you can use specifically with students if we're in red and you're trying to use Wakelet remotely. But you can set up your Wakelet in three easy steps. Number one, you click the plus button and you create a new collection. So that could be by content or it could be um, a specific topic that you want to share out with your students. Then you add in your content, so your videos or your web links or your resources, anything that you have. It could be a PDF or a picture. Uh, you can add any of those materials to your Wakelet board. And then the third option is to just share that Wakelet board out. So you're going to copy the link and embed that in your Google Classroom or in your Canvas course, or you're going to share that out maybe on Class Dojo or Seesaw. So whatever tool you're using, you can put that link in there and share it out um, that way. So I'm going to really quickly um, walk you through how to set up your Wakelet account. So the first thing you want to do is visit wakelet.com and create your account. I highly suggest using your Google school account to create this so that it links seamlessly with your KPBSD Google account. So once you've created your account, you'll get to this home page and you want to click on the plus button to create your first collection. I did a test example one already and so I'm going to open that one up and show you what that looks like. So once you create a board, you can name it and you can add any description that you want to this board. And when I click edit, it's going to give me this plus symbol here. Now I can add any resources that I want. So if I click on this, you'll see I can add text. So this could be directions for students. I could add a YouTube video in here. I could add bookmarks for different websites, a picture or image a PDF if you have a worksheet or a document that you want to upload, anything from my Google Drive or a Flipgrid video. So those are just some of the examples of things that you could put on here. So for example, I'm going to open up a new tab. This is one that Carla Barkman made that um, has a bunch of different resources for using Clever. And so she put in um, a bunch of different links in here, some information about what Clever is, and then some videos of how to access your Clever account. So that would be one example. Here's her PDF from her Google Docs that she put in there. And so let's say um, that I wanted to make a Wakelet board for some third grade math. So I can paste a website in here. Let's say that um, there's a Khan Academy video that I want to visit. You can put the specific URL in there. Um, and be able to link that. I'm going to put a YouTube video in there. So I'm going to get on YouTube and search for third grade factor families. So here's the video that I'm going to use and I can add that into my Wakelet board. So again, this is pretty much endless. You could add your own documents. You can add um, anything from the internet. You could even put Flipgrid in here. So if I wanted students to respond to the resources that are on here in a Flipgrid, I can pop that in there um, and create that really easily. One of the other nice features on Wakelet is it lets you change the layout. So you can have this in a story format where it's just one after the other, but I can also change it to a grid view. Um, so very similar to Padlet or to a mood board. So if I do this, I can actually manipulate these and move these around where I want them once I have them on there and I can reorder them um, as needed. So whatever format you want, you can just choose that and then change those things around as you go. 
but again this is very similar to a combination of Padlet and Pinterest so if you took those two things and you married them together um, you would end up with this Wakelet board and so this can be shared out on Canvas it can be shared out on Google Classroom or linked out on Seesaw or Class Dojo. So if you have questions about this, let me know. I would love to walk you through um, how to create your own Wakelet board. There's also a ton of examples. If you click on the community showcase, you can scroll through and find ones that other educators have already created and put out there um, for the general public. So you might find one um, that's already on the topic that you're looking for or that has resources that would be useful for you. Um, and to find that, you just click on that main Wakelet page and then you click on community. And so you can dig through those different collections and find those in that showcase.